Cloud Manager Image 10 provides additional Oracle database release support for database systems. Both the lift and shift and cloning processes now support the use of Oracle 12.2.0.1, 18C, and 19C, as well as 12.1.0.2. In the lift and shift for the database as a service template, select the software release from the drop down. The software release must match the database system that is being shifted into Cloud Manager. This completes our discussion of additional Oracle database release support for database systems only. Using the block volume cloning process, you can clone a running PeopleSoft environment without the need for any backup process. This eliminates the need for an additional copy of the data required by the use of a template and is much faster. There are two scenarios for cloning an environment. All environment components, including the database, are running on compute instances or infrastructure as a service, or the database is running on DBAS and the other components are running on compute instances. When all components are running on compute instances, the clone process uses OCI Cloud APIs to back up the boot volume and secondary block volume into a volume group. The volume group is then used to create a new instance of the environment. This is a single point in time, direct disk to disk, deep copy. To clone an environment, click the Related Actions button for the environment you want to clone and select Clone Environment. The Clone Modal window displays the components in the environment. This environment has database tier, middle tier, ELK stack, and PeopleSoft client on compute node. Enter the new environment name and click the Clone button. You'll be prompted to confirm the cloning process and the clone process will begin. You can monitor the progress from initiating to provisioning to running. For environments with a database on DB systems, the clone operation requires a database backup to create the corresponding database node in the cloned environment. There are two options for the database backup. By default, the clone operation will create a new point in time full backup to use for cloning the database instances. Or, you can use an existing database backup from the OCI backup services. In this case, both database backup and middle tier versions should be in sync. When you clone an environment that uses the database as a service, the clone window contains two sections, compute nodes for components on compute instances and DBS nodes for database on DB systems. Because the database is on DB systems, the clone operation requires a database backup file to create the database instance node for the cloned environment. By default, the process creates a new point in time full backup for cloning the database instance. You can edit the database backup name. Enter the new environment name and click the clone button. You'll be prompted to confirm the cloning process and the clone process will begin. You can monitor the progress from initiating to provisioning to running. To use an existing backup, in the DBS node section, select No for Create New Backup. This will display the available backup dropdown showing both full and incremental backups. Select a backup file, either full or incremental, that is in sync with the app home and cust home of the source environment. Once the environment is cloned, you can use lifecycle management and scaling actions. This completes the Fast Environment Cloning feature description. Cloud Manager Image 10 enables you to import PeopleSoft 9.2 environments created outside of Cloud Manager so you can take advantage of all Cloud Manager's capabilities. If you've manually migrated 9.1 application environments to the Oracle Cloud and upgraded them to 9.2, you can enjoy the many benefits of Cloud Manager. To use this feature, all environments must be running on Oracle Cloud. The database is running on database systems, and other components are running on compute instances or infrastructure as a service. You'll need the OCI credentials during the import. Cloud Manager SSH Public Key needs to be copied to the machines in the environment to be imported. 
Make sure the TNS entry is present in the tnsnames.ora file on the database system you are importing. The user profiles need to be in conformance with DPK deployment. In Cloud Manager, click the Environment tile and select Import Environment. Enter an environment name. You'll add the nodes to mimic the topology for the environment. Click Add Node and select the node to add. You can enter the nodes in any order. First, we'll add the database system node. When you select Exadata, you'll receive a message to enter the container database name. All the values are mandatory except for PeopleSoft Customization Home. Click OK. This creates a row for DB systems. If you entered all the required details in the previous screen, the Remarks column displays completed. If not, then Not Complete will display. Next, we'll add the Middle Tier node. Click the Add icon and select Middle Tier. Enter the OCID for the Middle Tier and click Discover. Based on the servers present, you'll need to enter credentials. This environment has web server, application server, and process scheduler. You can also edit the PeopleSoft deployment path. Click OK to create a row for middle tier. Now we'll add the Elasticsearch node. Enter the OCID of Elastic Server node and click Discover. The Discover process will SSH into the machine and find the cluster name, PeopleSoft deployment path, Installation Directory, Discovery Hostname, and Port. You'll need to fill in the Credentials Administrator Password and Proxy Password. You can edit any of the values before clicking OK. An Elasticsearch row is added. Click Add Node again to add the PeopleSoft client. Enter the mandatory values and click OK. Now that we've mimicked the topology for the environment, ensure that all nodes show complete and click Done. The import process begins. If a step fails, the process will stop. Select the related actions for the environment tile you just imported, select Details, and click the Import tab. The import steps are listed, depicting whether the step is in pending running, successfully finished, or failed status. View the status column for any possible output details. In this example, we have a failed step. The error is shown on the bottom of the page. Click the Edit button for the failed step and correct the value. Save it and continue. Click OK on the message that the failed task was resubmitted. The import will take some time. Refresh for the current status. Once the import has completed, it'll display all the tiers that were imported. Steps that don't have a specific output will display a disabled None button instead of a View button. Select Logs to view the import logs. You can now perform lifecycle activities like Apply People Tools Patch and Upgrade People Tools on the imported environment just as you would any other Cloud Manager provisioned environment. This completes our demonstration of the Import Manually Provisioned PeopleSoft Environments into Cloud Manager feature. Cloud Manager now supports Transparent Data Encryption, or TDE, and Real Application Clusters, or RAC, database options when performing a lift and shift. Run the lift utility to package the database and middle tier environment into DPKs. The lift utility, when triggered on a TDE-enabled database, prompts for the TDE Keystore Wallet password. The TDE encryption key is exported to a file and packaged on the on-premise system in a zip file. The TDE wallet directory is packaged and stored in the on-premise system as masterkey.zip. The Lyft utility uploads the DPKs to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure object storage. Once uploaded, you'll need to update the topology definition for Lyft and Shift Database as a Service for the shape names to use.
You'll also need to update the Lift and Shift template. Use the Lift and Shift DBAS topology. Edit the custom attributes, including region and availability domain details, subnet settings for middle tier, and PeopleSoft client. In the DB system section, provide values for general settings and subnet settings, and select the software version. Note that for Exadata, Rack is supported. Once the topology and template are updated, navigate to the Lift and Shift page in Cloud Manager. Identify the lifted DPK to shift and initiate the shift process by selecting Create Environment in the Actions menu. In the DB Systems section of the Custom Attributes page for the lift and shift, enter the values for TDE. In the TDE Master Key File location, enter the path where you securely copied the master key.zip file to Cloud Manager from the source environment. Enter the TDE Master Key secret password. Enter the source TDE Key Store Wallet password. The shift process will restore the SPF file, control file, and database, export the master key to a temporary location, close the PDB and unplug the auxiliary database, plug the PDB into the target CDB, import the master key from the exported file, and rename PDB and resolve data patch issues. This completes our discussion of support for transparent data encryption and real application clusters with Lift and Shift using RMAN. Use Oracle Cloud Infrastructure File Storage Service to create the file repository for Cloud Manager. The OCI File Storage Service is an enterprise-grade storage system that enables access from any bare metal, virtualized, or containerized environment inside a customer's virtual cloud network. You obtain and use storage as needed, so a separate instance for the file server is no longer required. It's a perfect fit for Cloud Manager's download repository. Use the Cloud Manager File Server page to select or configure a file storage service file system. If you want to create a new file system, use the File Server page to supply the file system name, the export path, and a mount target. Or you can use an existing mount target to create a new file system. After completing the page, click the Create button. When the file system becomes available, you can subscribe to your desired download channels in the repository. If you have an existing file system in your availability domain, you can select it from the file server page. In addition to these settings, your virtual cloud network must be set up to allow access to the necessary ports for the file system. See the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Help for more information. Note that customers on Cloud Manager Image 9 will need to migrate their previous file server from block storage to the new file storage system. After you create a new file storage service file server in Cloud Manager Image 10, Cloud Manager will automatically begin the process to migrate the contents from the previous block storage to the new file system. This completes the Adopt File Storage Service with Download Repository feature description. You can now add multiple Windows nodes to existing environments. You can use an Oracle Platform image for PeopleSoft Cloud Manager or create a custom Windows image for PeopleSoft Cloud Manager in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. On the Infrastructure Settings page under Cloud Manager Settings, select the Windows image. This example uses an OCI Platform image for Windows 2016. Note that you no longer need to supply the Windows password. You'll supply a password when you provision an environment. New channels are available for downloading Windows artifacts for PeopleSoft applications and tools. From the Unsubscribe tab, subscribe to the Windows download channels for your applications. You can add a middle tier node for Windows in the topology. Currently, only Process Scheduler domain is supported on Windows middle tier node. The Envision feature can be set to either on or off. Envision is an extremely popular tool, especially for our financials customers. With Image 10, Cloud Manager will automatically set up the process scheduler Envision using OpenXML. 
Microsoft Excel is also an option, but must be manually installed due to its licensing requirements. When you create a template, you'll need to select the Envision mode. By default, the mode is Open XML. You can select Excel. For existing environments, you can add Windows nodes using the Manage Node option. This completes the Enable Multiple Windows Nodes for Existing Environments feature description. Cloud Manager Image 10 now supports Exadata Cloud Service Shapes, providing customers unparalleled performance and availability as larger production workloads are migrated to Oracle Cloud. In the topology for Lift and Shift DBAS, edit the node for DB Systems and select Exadata Shape. The topology now displays DB Systems as Exadata. In the Lift and Shift template for DBAS, you can select an Exadata database and enter the instance details. When you create the environment using Shift, you can verify and update the values. This completes the Support Exadata Cloud Service Shapes feature description. Beginning with Cloud Manager Image 10, you can now select nested compartments to install Cloud Manager or create provisioned environments, giving you more options in organizing your work. This completes the Adopt Nested OCI Compartments feature description. Similar to PeopleTools 857, PeopleTools 858 will be available as a subscription in Cloud Manager. Cloud Manager is the only place to take advantage of an automated upgrade to the latest PeopleTools release. This completes our discussion of the automated upgrade to PeopleTools 858. We've only shown you the highlights of this Cloud Manager update. For more information and other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.